Hello YouTube, Hoppy2345 back once again and today in this video for y'all I'm going to be sharing my favorite plays out of these first props that Price Pick has given us for Sunday, November the 13th. Keep in mind that more props will be added as the day goes on. It is 3.42 a.m. right now when I'm recording this. These are just my favorite plays that I'm personally thinking about placing bets on for the Sunday, November 13th slate, and I actually have already placed bets on all these. I will always put my money where my mouth is on this channel. If I talk about a bet up, a player i will be betting on them and i will show you what exact bet i make with them but keep in mind when i show you those exact bets at the end of this video or at the video tomorrow morning at the beginning that when you see my exact bets they are not meant for you to copy you should look at each individual prop i talk about and and if you do not agree with my reasoning then do not take it and if you do agree then think about taking it pair it with your own picks if you want to copy my picks, you do so at your own risk. Let's go ahead and get into this video, though, without any further ado. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about nine props, my favorite nine props of the early morning slate. And first up, we got Steph Curry, 30 and a half points. The Warriors team outside of Steph has been shooting awful. They're going to need every bit of his points, and Sack's defense is going to have a trouble stopping Curry. Curry has scored 39, 47, and 40 in his last three games. One of those three games was against the same team he's playing tomorrow, and he had 47 against them. I fully expect Steph Curry to hit 30 points in tomorrow's game. I've already placed money on it, and I am very confident in it. So next up, let's go into our two three-pointers made prompts. I really like Zach Levine, two and a half threes made. I've taken this bet multiple, multiple times. I only missed on it once. I hit on it twice. But as you can see here... He has only hit this three out of the last five games. That being said, he shoots a lot of threes. If he's having on night, he's going to get the chance to hit this, and I do really like it for that reason. But the next player I like even more, he's hit this four out of five games. Um, that's Kevin Herter. He's a guy that shoots even more threes. They're playing the Golden State Warriors, who are going to be uh, shooting a lot of threes themselves, I assume. So Herter should need to take a lot of threes. He's going to take a lot of threes. Anyways, it's basically the only shot he shoots starting for the Sacramento Kings. He should make two, two and a half threes. I really like Kevin Herter. If I had to rank those two, I like Kevin Herter better. Zach Levine, I do like, but it could be a coin toss. Like you said, he has missed that in more of the last few games than Kevin Herter has. But that's not always indicative of the next game. Uh, let's go ahead and get into my next pick, one of my favorite picks as well. You'll hear me say that a few times. I just cannot hardly pick between my babies. Anyways, next up we got Shea Gilders Alexander, 27 and a half points. He missed this prop two of the last five games, but on the season he's averaging over 30 points. He is his team's best scorer. They're playing a New York Knicks team, and if you pay attention, if you look here, he has broken this against Denver, not the best defense. Detroit, young team, not a great defense. Milwaukee, he hit it against once, but he also missed it against once. And Toronto, he missed it against. So we're talking about great defensive teams he's missed this, this against. The Thunder also have a bad defense, so it should be a shootout between New York. We're going to have a few more plays from this game. But uh, Shea Gilders Alexander, 27 and a half points, I really do like. And go ahead and drop on a like on this video if you made it this far. Press subscribe if you want to see daily videos from me. I will be posting every day at night around 3 to 2 a.m. and I will be posting every morning after they add a f every morning or midday after they add a few more props most of the time I will show you my plays that I'm making on that second video today in this video I'm going to show you the bets I've made so far and then I will update those bets in the next video it may change a little bit we're new starting on this channel but I really appreciate the support and I really do want to keep doing this for y'all I got a mic coming in the mail I'm going to increase the production quality soon and I might even start making some non betting NBA videos videos one day but sorry for rambling on let's go ahead and get into the next pick we're going to go to mpj and mpj has been playing like a soft baby lately and i don't mean that in a bad way actually actually i do but i watched this boston game mpj played in and he he just wasn't even going for rebounds that's why i'm taking the points prop for mpj he's not a grit and grind type player he's a very pretty boy type player but that being said he has a crazy good shot, and I don't expect him to keep being the fourth string, uh, fourth scorer on this team. Lately, Aaron Gordon has kind of taken his role. As you can see, Aaron Gordon and him have the same prop on this. I like both of them, but I have to take the slight edge on Michael Porter because I do believe he is the third best scorer on this team. I believe he will get his shots up. I mean, even last game, he just wasn't hitting his shots. He didn't look very good last two games, but I'm still liking that play. I have already put money on it. I also like his first half play, maybe even more, but um, I went with the full game one just because I decided to go that route. 
uh, because he did miss the first half in one game, and, you know, he'd always get hot in the second half. And 15 and a half points for Schubert is really not that much. It's five hit threes, I mean, and you're there. Next up, we're going to go with one of my favorite plays of the day. Once again, sorry about that, but we're going to go into one of my favorite plays of the day. It is going to be DeMontis Sabonis over on points, rebounds, and assists. He's playing the Golden State Warriors, and if you look here, he played them, and he had 39 in this category, but what you don't see there is Sabonis has played Golden State Warriors twice this year. Both of those games, he's had 14 rebounds. If DeMontis Sabonis gets 14 rebounds, his PRA is, should be a very, very obtainable because he is a good passer. And he is a really good scorer. He's scored more and more points the last few games. We'll look at his points prop here just to prove that. Um, 22, 25, 19, 21, 21. I like his points prop. He's hit it five of the last five games. And he's only hit this one five, four of the last five. But I like this prop better just because of the team he's playing against, the Golden State Warriors. I also really like his assist prompt. You could really go any way you want with this DeMontis Sabonis. I like all three of his prompts, but I'm going to personally be, be taking the points, rebounds, and assists version of it just because he is playing a, a uh, Golden State Warriors team that he has been shown to dominate in the past. Next up, we're going to go with a guy named Jalen Brunson, one of my favorite players in the NBA, one of my favorite young players especially. He has hit this four of the last five games, one with PRA, and I really like Brunson's PRA because he doesn't have a PA, and the PRA would be better anyways just because it's not going to add that much, and he actually is a decent rebounder. He averages, I think, close to four rebounds a game, six and a half assists a game, and about 20 points a game. If, I, if I'm wrong on that, it could be a little bit to the lower side, but I know his total average for PRA this year is 28 and that is one point lower, but he is playing the Thunder. And in games where he scores over 20 points, he has busted this every time. He scored 20 points in, let's go look here, Brunson. He has scored 20 points in four, four of the last five games. He's been picking up his scoring production. I'm really liking the PRA on Brunson today because he is a great passer as well. Also do like his assistant points, but of course you can always bet however you'd like. These videos are more for just us to discuss the bet, me to discuss what I'm thinking about these bets, and for y'all to digest. And if you have something to comment down below, I love hearing what y'all think, and, and I love hearing about bets y'all are making. But next up, without any further ado, we're going to get into the second-to-last prop. I want to thank y'all for sticking around for this long if you're still here. The second-to-last prop is Julius Randle, over 20 points. He has scored this in four games straight now and he's playing the thunder which is you know not a great defense and don't have great big man defense also Jalen Julius Randle has really been hitting a lot of threes this year so um I really do like Julius Randle's props lately with the way he's been shooting the ball the past few games he's on a bit of a hot streak but to get into our last player I'm going to take one of my favorite young players once again you'll hear me say that multiple times multiple times because I like a lot of these younger players coming to the NBA these days but Josh Giddy's over on points I really do like just because he's playing New York I think it'll be a shootout neither defense is too great I mean they're not horrible but uh right before we get into our last pick is Josh Giddy. but right right after this we're going to get into showing you on my bets and this is how I've paired these bets up. Y'all feel free to make your own bets and share your bets down below in the comment section below if you use any of these props that I talked about in your bets. Or even if you don't, go ahead and free, feel free to do it. But here's how I paired them up. I paired Jalen Brunson's PRA with Kevin Herter, Curry, and Sabonis on a $7 four-man flex. So I could win $35 or $10.50 if this goes through, which we'll, we'll hope it will. Saving $20 in the account, um, I cashed some of my money out. And we had a little bit of a bad day yesterday. I'm not even going to lie. But, you know, in betting, you're going to have ups and downs. I liked all my bets I took yesterday. I would take them again in a heartbeat, most of them. The problem I made yesterday was just going a little bit too heavy with the $15 betting and the, the high stakes. And also picking the same players on multiple props. Like, I had multiple players on props that would have been green if I would have just left them, you know, alone without adding a player I already had. So you can get yourself in trouble using the same player twice, but you can also get yourself in more green. So if you're very, 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 very confident, that's the only way I would put a player down on more than one prompt. And sometimes you will still mess yourself up, even if you're super confident. But it's been paused here, guys. This is my first play that I've talked about. Here's my second play. It's a five-man flex for $61 or a 610 flex play. And it's Josh Getty, Michael Porter, Shea, Julius, and Zach Levine. Thank you all for watching. This is the only channel on YouTube that shares his exact bets 
in the videos without any fees necessary. We're gonna get this more streamlined each and every day, keep these videos more concise each and every day. I'm gonna get better at talking about this. I'm going to get a mic, and I hope y'all will stick around so you can say you're one of the first subscribers to join the